Welcome to What Would You Do? A live show where we take a deep dive into a variety of topics and questions. My guest tonight and co-host. I, I just need to start saying co-host for you. DJ Kosher. <laughs> How are you doing? You you deliver the title. I'm good. I'm doing excellent. How are you doing, Fish? Uh, you know, it, it was it was a busy day. I'm, I'm running our lab meetings uh, these two weeks, like two weeks in a row. So it's uh, a lot busier than normal. But no fin could make me better than being here with you guys tonight. Nice. Get it in there. The, the fin. No fin. Th threw yeah. it in there. <laughs> well, no fin. To fit more puns in that call and response, the, the things are just going to get longer. So I can just throw one word yeah. in there that makes sense. <laughs> just a four minute anecdote leading up to a <laughs> mediocre pun. It was worth it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for being here, my co host, uh, and also all of you in chat for being here. Hopefully chat is actually getting figured out for everybody and we can uh, move on with the voting part of the show later. So uh, alluding to that here, uh, if you're unfamiliar with what would you do in just a second, I'm going to bring up a question for my guests and I to discuss, but also for all of you in chat. So let us know what you think and also vote using the exclamation point vote space number or answer command. The instructions are going to be on that poll that will pop up shortly. If you enjoy the show, be sure to follow me here on Twitch and turn notifications. And if you're catching this on YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment your thoughts and answer down below. Remember, we're live Tuesday, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Central Time here on Twitch. All right, if you guys have any questions, remember you can join the discussion here in chat. Okay, so our question to start us off, warm us up for tonight. Would you rather speak all languages, read all languages, or be able to write all languages? Uh, okay, so DJ, what do you, do you have a, an impulse here? Space bar audibly uh, groaned. I do not like this question. I hope because it's tough and not because you just don't like the question <laughs> that I picked. <laughs> yeah, I I don't have an initial answer, I think. I, speak sounds the most useful to me. The e speak uh, sounds the easiest. Pandemic. <laughs> right, that's right. true. But, uh, you know, speak is if you wanted to consume media from I mean, another country, a movie what audiobook you could just listen to it and that's that's speaking you know languages mm. right so that so like you can't have the other two right because like it'd be kind of weird to be able to write and not read and it'd be kind of weird it wouldn't be as weird to read but not write i guess uh but kind of kind of yeah yeah i, th I think <laughs> How do you uh, know that, what you're writing make this if tougher. you can't read what you're writing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That does make this tougher to, to say if whatever one you pick, you can't do the other two anymore. Can you can you read your own writing if you're writing? And can you... Wait. Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> uh, I might need you to rephrase that because I don't think I followed you, but then to answer Spacebar quick. So okay. if uh, you speak them, we assume that we can hear them and understand them spoken back. Yes. I, I guess I'm a, can you can you could converse in all languages. Maybe that's a better way to say that speaking part here. Um, but what were you? What was your question, DJ? If I'm writing yep. in Arabic, right? How do I know what I'm writing if I can't read what I'm writing? <laughs> so, like, can I read what magic. at least what I write? <laughs> yeah, you, no, I'm just, I, that's I guess what I'm asking. Is the yeah, magic there to you've got to be able to read what you're writing? I can't read yeah. anyone else's writing. Maybe yeah, I write you, in a weird font thing <laughs> yeah and i'm you, you know that's how you justify it whatever okay as long yep. as that's true i think that's that the way that's slightly more work. fair you you would you would still know what you're writing for sure yeah mm -hmm. but magically you can't read a book but you could yeah you could read the book if you wrote it <laughs> that would that would work yeah i just feel like speak like speaking would help i feel like speaking would benefit me more if i'm traveling like reading and writing is also a benefit of those languages when you travel but being able to converse with somebody, I think, would be the biggest benefit of these three. Yeah, so I'm wondering if anybody can convince I'm, me otherwise. <laughs> that's where I'm leaning as well. Just because yeah. if, I mean, like, thinking functionally, the only time you need to know any of these really is if you are dealing with other people whether it's traveling or like through work. Yeah. And that the speaking one would give you 
like it just a wide give you all of variety that. of function. Yeah, and then also it would just you could get by doing all all those things, right? But if you can only yeah. write to someone, that's very inefficient. Granted, you couldn't like document something, I guess, if you could only speak. But yeah. you could. It'd be better to be able to speak, to have someone dictate to someone who could write it, than for you to just be able to write and not be able to speak like thoughts about the subject you're do you're documenting, or whatever. Right. I, I agree. And I think translating that to a practical example, Spacebar is bringing up. Picture myself looking at a restaurant menu in Shanghai and not understanding the menu, and I would still have to have somebody help me read it and order anyway. Like, I have to speak and say, what does the menu say? That's true. But you could just utilize the waiter or waitress for that, right? And converse with them mm -hmm. and say, uh, what's what's the best dish here? What's your favorite dish? What is that? What is it? What's in it? And they could just, like, tell you about it in that encounter. And you could Plus you of could get, get around the menu issue. And but the other thing is when you think about doing that, like without these magical skills, it's hard to do it with people who don't speak the same language as you. Like you're like, what's like the best? And they're like, chicken. And you're like, um, OK, yeah, that. <laughs> but like you could have like a full conversation like, well, oh, the chicken's really good. But honestly, this time of year, we prefer the vegetable medley. Yeah, because you can learn a blah, lot. Blah, blah. Yeah, you could figure it all out. And it, I feel like it'd be a more enjoyable experience as well. It's, it's, that said, it's much the more readers social out there experience. are probably more torn. Yeah. Yeah. Torn. I'm torn between reading and speaking. I think reading. Hmm. Yeah, I would agree over writing. That's that's definitely my least favorite of the three. Reading has a lot of benefit, but also, I mean, would you? So in the menu example, you'd be able to read it just fine. But what if you had questions still about the dish or? You wouldn't be, you'd have to just point at it to communicate with the person what you're ordering anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Reading helps for books and material produced from those companies. Or companies. <laughs> Countries. Not companies. Uh, but I, I don't know. Speaking is a, is a big benefit. I, I think you could kind of turn this question on its head and what if it's not even all languages would you rather be able to speak english write english or read english like our own language if you had to give up two of them what are the two you would give up i'd probably still give up reading and writing oh, and keep speaking sure. to people yeah, and i think that that version of the question survive. is the same yeah yeah you wouldn't it would really be a, a much more isolating life than we all currently experience <laughs> I mean, okay, I shouldn't say that because there are people who can't speak, so sorry. You could survive. You absolutely could survive. It would be yes. much more difficult. Yes. Compared to the uh, the uh, alternatives. Definitely. Um, I would just love to learn Armenian fluently, like, tomorrow. And just, like, talk to all <laughs> yeah, my Armenian. You have a very my practical benefit of that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, too, in, like, science communities, I could, I could be a... Uh, 10 steps ahead in any job application if I could put on there speak all languages. Oh, for sure. Dude, you could research anywhere in the world. <laughs> anywhere I want or collaborate with anybody I want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are we assuming you can still do all three in your native language? I think we have to. That It'd be too much to say picking one of these gets rid of your ability in reading and writing in like English for most of us here. I think that that'd be too harsh. But if it did, I even if it did, up. I'd still pick speaking. I would give up reading and writing in English to speak every language. How about oh, that? interesting. <laughs> that's a fun. That's a fun version. Yeah. Would you give up all reading and writing so you could speak all languages? <laughs> yeah, I, I I might. I think so. Not. I don't know. Not being able to read or write though. Well, that's a big hindrance. Can I code? Uh, we'll say you could code, those are... but you still couldn't like email or IM or like message and chat yeah. right now. Like that's. We'll say typing and emailing is like still writing. Okay. What about like? Yeah. What about like dictation software and stuff? You know, I, I was thinking about it before because like you can do the reading and writing like the menu stuff, you know, with Google has the app with the, the camera and the thing. But there's yeah. also dictation software and uh, that's all speaking, opposite, I'd say. So, which, yeah. 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 You could audio book like forever around instead of reading a book. You could still audio book. Yeah. You'd also be able to t like 
whether you pick any of these with the all languages part here, you get to speak a lot of really cool fantasy languages that are not real, quote unquote. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to be super nerdy. <laughs> You, you automatically know all you could know about Klingon or uh, what's the Game of Thrones? I don't know. It's in the office. I, I haven't watched all of Game of Thrones. Doth, Dothraki. Is totally. that the one? I think that's the one. Yeah. That's like a, it might we're be. Really, we're really cool and hip yeah, with sure. culture here. So, yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm on speed. I mean, you could get, oh man. There's Space a certain level of amount of languages. You just, you unlock a lot of life opportunities. I feel like, like you're the science oh, thing is one thing. Yeah. But you, if you speak more than four languages, you're instantly like a some somebody who is wanted by a local government, yeah. or perhaps Russia oh, yeah. and or China. Um, Putin knocking on your door, watch yeah. out, fish. Which but, European ambassadorship do you want? <laughs> yeah, really. Or UN. Or, or, you're any, go to the UN, or all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the Yakuza, if you're a, <laughs> kind of a on that side of the, criminal, the bridge criminal organization, or whatever. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Space Bar, you're the most on the fence, the so I'm, I, I feel like I need to get you uh, oh, to I tell me your answer. Okay, uh, we got we got our logic here. So if you can read the words and if you can read the words and read them and understand them, you can then listen to music, films, etc., and learn how to speak it. Well, see, you're, oh, you're, 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 isn't that a loophole? Or, I guess it is. Isn't the magical genie version of this question that once you lock in reading, you would never be able to speak or write those languages other than, say, English yeah. for locking in your, your base language? Your logic is banana spacebar. <laughs> well, I mean, actually, your logic's your, good. Your logic yeah, is great. Cheating. But yeah, it's cheating. We and and we are just sticklers about <laughs> cheating here at what would you do? These these are life and death questions that nobody can find loopholes in. These are these are flawlessly designed questions. <laughs> No, that's that's a good loophole. I mean, yeah, ultimately, if it wasn't like a locked in, you give up the other two forever. I, like any of these would help you develop the other two in the languages you wanted to focus on. Right. If you can speak all languages, eventually you'd get pretty good probably at reading and writing it. If you could read it and you did it enough, it was a language you really wanted to know. And they would all they would all help you uh, with that. Yeah, I'm loopholing all the way to bakery in France. Bye, guys. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have fun reading the menu while you're there. All right. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, DJ Kosher. All of you in chat, vote in the poll. Uh, remember to click the follow button here on Twitch and turn on notifications if you want to know when I go live. If you're catching this on YouTube, like, share, and subscribe, but also comment your answers down below. What do you think about today's question? Remember that we're live every Tuesday and Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Central Time on twitch.tv slash fishmobile. And see you next time.